was the presentation of checks to selected grantees. They included the Directorate of Research and Innovation of the University of Cape Coast, Dooms Air Condition Limited, Flossel Limited, and the National Association of Beauticians and Hairdressers. The following grant recipients shared their expectations on their respective projects. The grant that has been granted, given to us will be used to produce glassware for the science laboratories of the second cycle institutions in Ghana and we hope to extend to other African countries as time goes by. We want to say a big thank you to the Vice Chancellor for making time to come and sign the contracts for us so that this project will come to fruition. Thank you. Put in an application to get a grant to uh, upgrade the skills of my members. And we've won. We are going to use the money in upgrading and also creating wealth for my members. They are going to benefit a lot because we are now in a new era of doing things. Uh, the new technology in our profession, they have to assess that technology. So they are going to benefit a lot and it will even increase their uh, services for the clients. I, I, am, I am very happy for having this grant. Uh, the grant is going to support my business in a very big way. Uh, for now we have a skills deficiency in a, the installation of uh, the new MPS and MVPs for high-rise buildings. And uh, we sought the assistance of SDF to support us to acquire skills to help us to do that installation. Hopefully, and thank God, we have, we have been given the award and uh, we are really happy. It's going to help us in the long run. Uh, presently, we do about uh, five to ten uh, air conditioners at the central units annually. But uh, what we have realized is a high-rise building of about six floors can install over 18 or 20 units of that. So if we should even get one or two of these high-rises in a year, we stand a, we stand a chance of uh, making more profits because uh, it will involve quite a, a numerous number of air conditioners. Yeah. So the profit margin will be enormous. Grants that we've just received from the SDF is intended to be used uh, to set up a new uh, recirculation uh, aquaculture technology uh, to enhance our tilapia fingerling production. Currently our production uh, is like uh, 150,000 uh, fingerlings every month with mortalities sometimes as high as 40% uh, to 45 sometimes. But with this system we, we, we hope that we can be able to minimize our mortalities to as low as 5% and be able to achieve an efficiency of uh, as high as about 98%. And then the output will also go up. We expect to be able to produce uh, about a million fingerlings at the end of every month. So at the end of each year we should have uh, uh, the ability or the capacity to produce uh, up to 12 million fingerlings of tilapia. In real money this could come to roughly about uh, close to uh, 1.2 million Ghana city. Well, we are, an, we are a telecoms infrastructure solutions provider. So basically what we do is we, we do all aspects of telecom installations um, like, like tower erection, um, tower refurbishment, civil works as in cell site improvement and refurbishment and um, maintenance. So basically that's what we do. So we have in our team, we have engineers like electrical, because of, and then we have civil guys. We have, um, we also have um, riggers. Basically the riggers are those who climb the towers to do all that, you know, that kind of work. And, and then we have technicians to cover, basically cover supervision has to be done and all of that and driving stuff. But basically now what's happening in the industry is that we, we need to, health and safety, which was never really a, an issue before, has now become really key. If you want to sort of get anywhere in this industry, the telecom industry, you need to take your health and safety seriously. So basically what's happening now is we need to, and we realized that 
finding accredited skilled workers was difficult. Those who are trained to actually climb the tower and climb it safely, who have certification to prove that yes, I've been trained in, in, in basic rescue and fall arrest and in first aid and in electrical safety systems was lacking. So for us to actually improve that on the skills, we applied to Codvert because the training is available, but it's expensive. In fact, it's actually, for instance, with the fall arrest, it's actually a South African company that is offering, so it's expensive. And the numbers that we have are quite a lot. So we thought, okay, let's apply. We heard about Codvert. So let's apply to the SDF Codvert Fund and see how, unfortunately, it's been a long road, but we've been able to get there. You know, so here we are. If ever there is one driver which can propel our county to full scale develop status, then it is through quality skills training. On that front, the Council for Technical and Vocational Education and Training, Quadvet, through a skills development fund, is spearheading that agenda in Ghana. Who is going to provide the service? And our main focus has been on mass production of garments. There was a lot of talk about Sakawa. Are you able to use these same processes to also apprehend people? That, that is correct. Ghana. Our research showed that Ghana was at the number eight in the world when it comes to cyber crime. On this program, we shall open up the SDF to you. Yeah, so SDF is here to support businesses to train their staff to be very productive. All that we're trying to do is to build a very solid human capital base. We shall profile beneficiaries of SDF. We are now even positioned to train about 400 workers. We gave them uh, 276,000 US dollars. There is a fund from which we are giving grants to businesses to address these challenges. You, you develop these Moringa plants into, into products like soap, creams, okay. Watch SDF Diaries on the Joy News channel on Multi TV every Saturday, 8.30 a.m. to 9 a.m. SDF, managed by Cutbet, is an initiative of the government of Ghana with support from the World Bank and Danita. And so the fourth call of Skills Development Fund ended, and it ended with some companies or some organizations benefiting immensely, with grants totaling over 41 million Ghana cities. Some of these awardees are National Association of Hairdressers and Beauticians, PUM, University of Cape Coast Directorate of Research, Dumps Air Conditioning, Flossel Limited, and AfriWave Telecom. Your business could also benefit immensely from this grant. If you have not made contact with Skills Development Fund, you quickly have to get in touch with them and get that much needed support. If you have need for skills development, if you have need for skills upgrade, and if you have need to acquire a technology to enhance the effectiveness or the productivity of your business, then Skills Development Fund is your sure bet. All too soon, my time is up and I have to take leave of you. But please make a date with me, same time next week, for another exciting edition on your favorite TV program, SDF Diaries. Bye for now.